Hey, my name is Ben. Thanks for stopping by. Today we're going to be brazing the outside lines on an air conditioner. As you can see here, we're getting ready to do so. And the first thing we're going to do is take and uh, get our little, add a little bit of nitrogen uh, to these lines to help prevent oxidation uh, inside of the line during brazing. So I'm going to put this hose on here, and then I've got my tank ready to go here. I'm just going to crank this valve down a little bit until we can hear it going in. So you can hear now that there's a nitrogen being introduced into the system. We just want to displace the air and have a good section of nitrogen in this pipe before we braze it. And now we're going to uh, switch it to the other line and do the same thing. Right now these lines are open inside of the house, so we're not building up any pressure inside the line, it's just flowing nitrogen through it, if that makes sense. So we'll go ahead and add a little bit to this side. Can you hear it going in again? And now we should have a good amount of nitrogen in both those lines, so we're ready to move on. And I've already removed the caps off of here and here and here and here because I do have uh, rubber in this uh, cap, a gasket, and this one is made of plastic altogether. So take those off so that they don't overheat during brazing. So here we've got uh, the braze we'll be using today. This is a Harris Zero, I guess is what it's called. There's uh, technically no silver in it, but it's a, an alloy that works really well. And uh, if you're doing something where you need to fill bigger gaps, I'd suggest using something that's like a 6% silver. So we're going to go ahead and start brazing here. This is a turbo torch. I'll try to put a link in the description for this same torch, as well as uh, the braze I'm using. And we're going to try to direct the heat right towards this area and also away from the service valve so that we don't overheat this valve. So here we go. So there we go, now we'll take a little mirror and inspect uh, around the outside edges of this. Now you could just wait till this cools off all the way too, but this is how I generally do it. I just look through a little mirror and around the outside perimeter of each fitting. 
to make sure that there's no gaps, you should have a consistent bead all the way around uh, your joint. So, uh, that's pretty much that. Now I will be pulling the vacuum on this shortly and making sure that it holds good and stable on that, but that's pretty much just uh, the general process for brazing the fittings on the outside for an air conditioner. If this video helped you out, please rate it up and subscribe down below for more videos like this one. And uh, yeah, we'll talk to you in the next one.